How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to some more Man Eater. We're currently engaged with uh, the next uh, tier up of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, Butcher Boy Brady. Trying to get the uh, bioelectric body. Now I see why, I think I get why my cousin said you want the uh, bone fins. Because I have barely taken any damage and I've just been doing this. I've just been evading. You see, I, I take damage every so often. But usually from uh, like the explosions or whatnot. But I've just been basically jumping around and evading constantly. Booyah! Things are getting heated. But your boy Brady actually devour you. Alright. That's the bioelectric body now. Quickly, swim into here. You fools can't come in here now, can you? <laughs> no, y'all most certainly cannot. So let's see, we're close. Oh, we're actually very close to their grotto. Excellent. So let's swim over there right quick. <clears throat> and go see about equipping our... Let's see, where's our... Where's that buoy? There's the buoy. Now for the cord. Okay, get back in our garage. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Alrighty. Body. Bioelectric body. When activated, this evolution gives you the lightning burst ability. It is recharged by damaging or consuming creatures. Truth quest only. Immune to the electric great white. Bioelectric stun while equipped. That's the DLC. Lightning Burst. Lightning Burst cloaks you with lightning or electrocuting anything that comes near. While active, plus 10 projectile damage resistance, plus 10 electric electrical damage resistance. Okay, on lunge, you turn into lightning, inflicting 4 damage and putting 2 stun counters. Plus 5 to max lunge speed, plus 5 to max speed, plus 5 to acceleration bonus, plus 5 to swim speed. Let's go with that. <clears throat> evolution body. Body evolutions have a special ability. Charge the ability by eating prey. Each unique ability activa once activated only lasts a short time. Cool. <laughs> Look at what it does to us. It turns us into like a blue, like, just think a blue shark. So now we have, uh, since we have three sets, we have plus 15 to bioelectric damage. Nice. So let's upgrade this. And uh, can we upgrade it again? Yes, we can. Uh, don't have enough to upgrade it again to two. So we're all, uh, our bioelectric set is up to tier three. Very evil looking shark, isn't it? Now we are uh, two third, uh, three fifths of the way to being a bioelectric shark. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. <laughs> so now we are a nice big blue electric shark. That's this is awesome. All right, let's continue on with the story. So we gotta go take care of a Mako. So behind us. So let's go devour. The, let's go show this shark why we're superior. I mean, come on, we turned into a freaking. We basically turned into lightning. I'm Thor's pet. If he had a pet. 
hunted mate. Nom 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 nom. Taste my bioelectrics. Where'd you go? Come on. <laughs> you can't dodge uh the Golden Shores mm -hmm. import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? <laughs> Not likely, but let's pretend they do, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. <laughs> Alrighty, now once doing that, we get all these destroyed targets. So you another make Mako's Mako's and Barracudas. Big Mac. Oh yeah, we, we were already working on this one, but uh, we don't know where the other two mackerel went, so... Excuse me, just a shark that can turn into lightning. Coming through to consume you. A regular shark jumping up, uh, jumping up on land and uh, devouring people is already scary enough. Seeing a shark, seeing a bolt of lightning come out of the water and then it turns into a shark. Even more, even more terrifying. Yum, yum. <laughs> Fear me if you dare. But I will electrocute you all. Then devour you all. Shark can just navigate the water uh, out of the water with ease. Activity ready. You don't want any? Call me... In this form, call me Shore. It's like Shark and Thor combined. Alrighty. Ah, make a war, not love. Kill the apex. Now we have the apex. Uh, so where is he? There we go. The bone fins. Now remember, I remember my cousin said when you get those, you want them because they. He said they were so good in boat combat. So let's go and uh, fight this alpha Mako. We can actually put our ability to use. Hey, when we get the, uh... When we get the, uh... Bone fins, we'll have, like, uh... The bone teeth and bone fins, so we'll have, like, a two set. Alrighty. Also, uh... We just need two more locations, and we can pick up, uh... Let's see, uh... Shadow fins. Sultan of Speed, the Maker. There's a golf ball in his eye. <laughs> Apex Maker. Uh huh. Can't. Let's do this. Come on, fool. Ability activate. He's stunned. I like the music that kicks in. When you activate your ability. Come on, fool. You're gonna end up beaching yourself. Pretty good. Fast and aggressive, <laughs> the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. And family update. Cruise by the Cajun Queen. So let's go check in on Pete. See what he's up to. And see if we get to take our revenge yet for killing our mother. And mutilating us. Second, there we go. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. 
Maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What you say? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, <laughs> I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Not everybody made to be a hey, fisherman. Not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? <laughs> Dad that cares about his son. Eh, fisherman, being a fisherman ain't no easy task. <clears throat> now, I don't watch the show, but if you, you know, you watch like uh, those shows like Deadliest Catch, like stuff like that, you see, uh, I've, I've caught a, uh, you know, peaks of the show. I don't really uh, go for that sort of. Uh, I don't really go for that sort of TV show. Visit the Sapphire Bay Grotto. So let's fast travel back to our base or grotto. But yeah, look at, from what I saw, from what the little bit I saw of like Deadliest Catch, it's like. Uh, <laughs> Those fools go through some crap. The grotto provides a brief respite from the sturm und drang of the Gulf. fins, bone fins. So let's see. This evolution turns you to a spine bone bladed blender of destruction. <laughs> Passive plus three damage resistance plus three ramming damage. On invade, inflict thirty damage on everything within one meter. Plus ten damage resistance. Let's equip that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it, it literally is like armor. So let's upgrade this. Flick 35 within a 1.2 meters. Upgrade again. And inflict 40 damage in 1.5 meters. Oh, look, you could see, you could just see more and more of me getting like bone armor. I think I might like the bone set. Ooh! Now I see what it says when it turns you into a blender of just a uh, blade blade, a bone bladed blender of destruction. <laughs> so we got more ramming damage. Let's ram him and see what we do. One twenty seven. Wow. All these things are good. This thing's been killing a dangerous shark. Those closest to them prepare for the possibility that they might come home. Wow, I could easily hit hunters with these. <laughs> Okay, this, this, these fins are, these fins are definitely good. Now I see why, uh, now I see why you said you want to get these. This makes dealing with these underboats just so easy. Because we're constantly, basically constantly evading. Well, the only real thing we'll get uh, worried about, you know, damage is from like explosions. <laughs> Just look at us go with these fins. Well, you're tearing these hunters up. I like these bone fins. <laughs> Fear 
Prepare me for I'm a blender of destruction. I am your culinary doom. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn you into a nice meat paste. I'm gonna saute you up in butter and spread you over some toast. Of course if it's a shark I'd just eat you whole, but yum, 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 yum. I mean, this is gonna make uh, raising it to me pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, these bowed fins are just... They make uh, boat combat a lot easier than uh, the bioelectric fins. The bioelectric fins were good, but you know, it was only inflicting 12. This is hitting several times for 40. Sure, the bone fins, uh, with the bioelectric body, the fins, and the teeth, we had plus... We had, uh, plus 15 percent. But still. The shark proves as slippery as it is dead. <laughs> yes, I am. So, yeah, this definitely seems to be the way, the way to just do boat combat with these fins. <laughs> we just sent that, uh, boat flying. It, look, it even hits the hunters in the boat. We have yet to devise a reliable method for the protection of humans against shark attacks. Yeah. Don't you think that when you get an uh, itch and it won't go away? That's what I got right now. I got one of those right now in my nose. We have so much... We are very destructive. And we're just doing, we're just basically evading. It seems like uh, the best way to do it is you want to be a little bit away. Ugh, why is my nose itching so much? You want to try to hit like, it looks like you want to try to hit the boat from the side or from a small distance away. To get like maximum damage. Yeah, like that. And now we feast. Activity ready. Why is there a hunter diver just glitched in the air? Oh, look, we got uh, yeah, the boats are level thirty now. <laughs> yeah, these, these, yeah. <laughs> I definitely agree with him. This is probably gonna how I'm gonna be just uh, raising my infantry rank from now on. Especially when I'm fighting boats. If I'm not fighting boats, I'll probably use other fins. But when I want to go to raise my infantry rank. You know, I'm most likely going to use the other things. Because these same things are incredible. Ooh, no, by no King Michael. Where are you? So many dead people to eat. So much nutrients. Level 23. Hunter diver. <laughs> but yeah, we're running out of time for this episode. This has been a lot of good boat combat since we got these things. It's just made boat combat so easy. I wonder how well it does against like creature combat. Yeah, it looks like it's not really that effective against uh, uh, creatures, but extremely, extremely effective against boats. So yeah, I'll probably go back to my grotto and switch back to my bioelectric fins. 
But guys, we're out of time. Thank y'all for joining me. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Or else my shark will see you in the ocean. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.